There are many ways you can make money using graphic design skills, and no, it's not just print on demand or freelancing on Fiverr, so let's go over these 10 methods together. Method number one is selling design resources on marketplaces like Design Cuts, Creative Market, Envato, or even Etsy. People are always looking for new and different clip art packs or textures, or of course the big money maker fonts. I personally sell digital products on a number of these marketplaces, and while it does take some effort, the reward is well worth the time. It's also worth noting that digital products don't have to be a design resource. You could use your skills to create coloring books or crossword puzzles and even sell on Amazon. Another way to make money with graphic design is to create and sell different templates. Instead of crafting a pack of 30 clip arts, you could create a template for mediums like social posts or logo designs, t-shirts, title slides, or even niche programs like Notion. Narrowing down to a specific style is a great way to start selling templates because that's the style you know the best and you can utilize the program you know best. You can even do this in Kittle by setting up a template and than providing a private project links to sell on Etsy or Creative Market. One of my personal favorite methods is utilizing affiliate marketing programs. Despite what you might think, there are actually a ton of programs where you can get a commission from a company once someone signs up for that graphic program or subscription. For example, Creative Market offers a subscription-based plan where customers can get a certain amount of products each month. If you enroll to be an affiliate, you can advertise this so when someone signs up, you get a percentage of that sale, not to mention you can get affiliates for certain products. We even have an affiliate partner through Kittle where your personal referral link can earn you money when someone signs up and subscribes to Kittle. This is truly one of the most rewarding and passive ways to make money as a graphic designer because you're not only building a following, you're also building a community of people that will share the link with others and most likely subscribe in the future. The most common ways to promote your affiliate links are through social media, blogs, newsletters, or YouTube. Now you've probably heard of freelance graphic design, but that's just an overarching category that can mean a lot of different things. As opposed to trying to tackle an entire brand project, start smaller with offering just commission work. The great thing about offering commissions is that you can easily handle and manage the amount of work you're getting because you're working on one piece at a time. For example, I commonly do commissions for t-shirt designs where I either reached out to a small shop or a local brand and I said, hey, I'm open to commission work. I've also done many tattoo commissions, which I know doesn't sound like graphic design, but that doesn't mean you can't use your graphic design skills to craft a tattoo for someone. There are many types of commission work from book covers, social media posts, t-shirts, invitation cards, and so much more. Again, this allows you to reach a specific audience as opposed to saying, I'm a freelance designer and I'll do everything. You can control the price points of your commissions much more easily as well than when you're trying to typically price for a massive large project and there's no hourly rate. Another of my personal favorite methods in making money is to start a YouTube channel. And hey, I know not everyone has to get on YouTube and start teaching graphic design, but maybe you want to make entertaining content or maybe you want to make silly designs, maybe you want to react to the newest and latest thing in graphic design. The great thing about YouTube is how you can leverage all of the previous methods I've talked about, maybe like selling on Creative Market and you're advertising that on YouTube. Maybe you're a Kittle affiliate and you talk about that on your channel. Maybe you even use keywords to bring different people to your videos where you're offering commission work. Not to mention that once your channel reaches a certain level, you can monetize with ad revenue. A lot of people think TikToks and Reels are the best way to go viral and make money, but I think it's way easier to do it on YouTube. Now, a more advanced method to making money is to offer website design. While career adjacent and a little bit different in function, good website design still utilizes graphic design principles to provide a good user experience. You can use what you know about typography, layout, and hierarchy, color, and more to create websites for local businesses or smaller companies that don't have time or the know-how to do it themselves. This is actually how I started my own graphic design career, and I still have clients on retainer from a long time ago. You'll be surprised at how easy it is to build a website site with all of the templates and the drag and drop features on Squarespace, Wix, Shopify, or anything like that. You don't have to be a master at the UX programs like Figma or XD. You just need to learn and position yourself as a design solution to your client's problem. Another advanced method for making money is to offer online courses or master classes on specific topics that you know well. Now, I wouldn't suggest this to beginners since you need some time to hone your craft and get the experience and repertoire you need to craft your own course. But for those of you who are further along in your career, Career and have a passion for teaching and wanting to see others succeed, you can script, record, and host your own online course and charge whatever you want. You can either utilize something like Kajabi to host your online course, which will handle payments, or you can sign up and become a teacher on a platform like Skillshare or Udemy, where you will get a commission-based profit for the amount of people that watch your course. One super niche way to make money in graphic design is by offering book formatting. I know it's super specific, but there are so many people nowadays wanting to write and publish their own book, especially now that we 
we have ChatGPT. However, they forget that their books need to look presentable and have that same consistency and format that every other book has. So instead of hiring an agency or a company, they will most likely turn to a freelancer to put their Word document into a proper layout. I've done this a few times and it's certainly a lot of work, but it's relatively easy once you set up the template and you can make quite a bit of money while still being lower than what a company charges. For those designers with a passion to build a tight-knit following, a great option for you is building a private community with perhaps a light subscription-based pricing that allows members access to one-on-one -on -one time, special resources, or anything else that fits your niche. Just remember that you're not going to create a community for every type of graphic designer because if you reach too far wide, it's going to be difficult for you to offer something useful for everyone. So my advice is to really narrow down on the type of community you want to have, whether it's based on style, product, interest, technique, or something else. There are a lot of ways you can host a private community from simply starting a Discord with some private channels or moving to something like Circle or Geneva where more community management is easier to happen. Patreon is also another option, but I personally prefer Circle so that you have more live time commenting and more engagement. Now, my last method for you is to offer design consulting. Now, again, this will be for those of you that are a little farther ahead, a little more experience under your belt, and you want to move towards directing instead of hands-on designing. With consulting, you can help clients or beginner designers figure out what they need to succeed. As someone with experience, you come in with an unattached perspective to help with design solutions to make more sales or gain more work or gain more recognition or anything else. If you still offer design services, you can always factor that in and add it if your client agrees to what you've suggested. The main idea here is that you're getting paid for your ideas and less about the ability to use a graphic design program. So hopefully this shows how there are so many ways you can make money in graphic design other than just starting a print-on-demand business or getting on Fiverr. If there are other ways that you found to make money with graphic design, feel free to comment them down below so we can help people reach their goals. If there's a topic you want to go deeper into, let me know in the comments as well so we can make more videos for you. And if you like this video, do me a quick favor and hit that like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss any other content just like this. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.